If you teach multiplication in your classroom, then it means you also probably start thinking in everything in terms of equal groups. Lining up to go somewhere, we can line up in equal groups. Passing out papers, oh, let's put them in equal groups. Planning for a project, time to put my students into equal groups. Equal groups is one of the most important strategies to teach your students with multiplication, and it always ends up being one of my students' favorite strategies to use. That's why I wanted to share with you my top three tips to help you tackle teaching equal groups in your multiplication instruction. Tip number one is to get your students thinking about equal groups on a conceptual level using a word problem or a story problem. I love using word problems to introduce a new skill because it's a really fun way to get your students thinking and kind of take a peek at where students are in terms of their understanding of this new concept before you ever even taught it. This is a great trick to use for equal groups because I think the idea of putting items into groups just makes a lot of sense for our kiddos. So I always like to start with a problem to get them thinking before I ever start teaching. Tip number two when you're teaching your students about equal groups is the use of manipulatives. I think it is so important that our students can very truly get their hands into the math on this multiplication strategy. I love to use tiny erasers, unifix cubes. Students can even just be drawing X's or O's inside of larger circles to represent those equal groups. By working to model with manipulatives, it's helping students really understand this strategy in a very concrete way. Tip number three for equal groups is to make sure you give your students practice, practice, practice with this skill. I like to pull out each piece from my multiplication problem and model that with students and then let them fill in my groups with my number of items. So we'll pull out, we need six groups. Oh, that means I need six circles. I have four items in each group. Oh, that means I better fill in each circle with four footballs. From there, model for your students how they can get to that answer of 24 by counting all of the items in their groups. Practice is where the magic is really going to happen for your students as they master the skill of equal groups for multiplication. Before long, your students are going to be using this strategy heavily to help them solve multiplication problems. I love it when students whip out that whiteboard, start drawing circles, and then fill those circles with the number of items to match the factors from their multiplication problem. If you're looking for any of the resources I shared in today's video, they're all from our third grade multiplication unit. The unit has everything you need to teach multiplication in your classroom, and the daily slides are one of my favorite things. They have fat fluency, warm-up problems, and even an exit ticket for you to use in your instruction. My favorite thing about the math curriculum is the volume of things you're getting to use in your math classroom within the curriculum. Lesson plans for whole group and small group, exit tickets, assessment tools, games, and even a project-based learning activity to use with your students. If you're looking for more math content, look no further. We have so many videos in our math playlist here on YouTube because it's one of my favorite things I get to help you with in your classroom. If you aren't already, please hit that subscribe button. We put out new content here on YouTube every single week and I would love to have you join our community here. Last but not least, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a not so wimpy day. Bye.